Now, scores of Cambodians have been flocking to a temple on the outskirts of the capital Phnom Penh to visit a man they're describing as the magic monk. Bin Sovan is a hugely popular 38-year-old Buddhist who claims to have special healing powers. Hamish MacDonald paid him a visit. He's known as the magic monk and he's become something of a celebrity in the Cambodian capital. He'll bless just about anything, mobile phones, babies, even 1997 Toyota Camrys. Most of this group are students. Tomorrow is the big exam. But there's no way they'd spend the final hours in study. I really want to pass my exam. That's why I've come to see the magic monk. Personal blessings are also available with the monk's magic water. It's more a shower than a light splash. Bin Savan says he first noticed his special powers six years ago. One day a 50-year-old woman came and asked me to bless her. She was possessed. But I threw the water on her and the spirits came out of her. She was better. Now everyone wants me to bless them. And there is no shortage of believers. The magic monk is generating plenty of attention, but he's also sparked a degree of controversy about the changing nature of Buddhism in Cambodian culture and the different ways in which this faith can be interpreted. Critics have accused him of tampering with Buddhism, while others say the magic monk is simply infusing the religion with the ancient beliefs of animism and Brahmanism. Buddhism is not hard like a stone. Buddhism can be very flexible. There are those who remain skeptical, but the magic monk has plenty of followers, most of whom are completely convinced. Hamish MacDonald, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.